Okay. We are back with video number 16. 16 is an interesting one. I'm going to show it to you. It's just a, it's just real short, but uh, uh, the legal definition of argue is to make clear. Very fascinating. I'm going to leave this here as a point all by itself because I think it's truly a life-changing definition. That one single definition has the ability to quietly change the whole world, in my opinion. Uh, this is kind of like United States or kind of like the word citizen. Uh, it's a it's a seriously upsetting emotional word uh, that that actually has this beautiful idea behind it. Um, so courts, as we went over in the last video, uh, they only see disputes, right? And the whole point of the dispute, the whole point of the argument, is to come to a come to a, a conclusion and and come to you know uh, clarity using reasoning. So if you look, uh, Black's Law Fourth Edition, we have the word argument. Uh, an effort to establish belief by a course of reasoning. Very, very interesting, right? Let me see here. Argumentative means by way of reasoning. It was very, 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 very interesting. I wonder, I didn't even think of this before. Sometimes with these videos with you guys, I think about more shit when I'm on the camera with you guys than I do when I'm off of it. It's so crazy. It's like, uh, uh, you guys are, uh, uh, stimulating my mind more than my penis. <laughs> okay. Reason, uh, reason, reason. Do you have a reason for things to exist? Do you have a reason to put something like a cucumber up your own ass? Okay, here we go. Reasonable. Reason. 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 A faculty of the mind by which it distinguishes truth from falsehood, good from evil, and which enables the processor. Are you seeing this? enables the processor to deduce inferences from facts or from propositions. Webster, also an inducement, motive, or ground for action, as, is, as in the phrase, reasons for an appeal. Hmm. So to argue means to reason, uh, or to use reason, or to create belief via reason. And reason is a faculty of the mind by which it distinguishes truth from falsehood, good from evil, and which enables the processor to deduce inferences from facts or from propositions. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. And then I looked up uh, argue. And actually, it does it does kind of have that same classic connotation to put forth reasons for or against, to debate, to attempt to prove by reasoning, maintain or contend, to give evidence of, indicate, to pursue, persuade or influence another as by presenting reasons, to put forth reasons for or against something, to engage in a quarrel or dispute. And then you look up you look up the derivation of argue, you go all the way back to thirteen hundred, and it says here to make reasoned statements to prove or refute a proposition. A proposition from old French, arguer. Old French, arguer. Maintain an opinion or view. Reproach, accuse, or blame. Look at this. Ultimately from Latin. Arguer. Make clear. Make known. Prove. Declare. Demonstrate. 
Very, very, very interesting. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this? D. D. Van says Arguer is probably, quote, to make bright or enlighten. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. Argue means to make bright or enlighten. Now, now look at this. This idea of argue matches trust law because this idea that you are making reason statements to prove a refuted proposition or uh, not that one so much, uh, make clear to make bright, enlighten. These ideas are, you're the trustee and then the beneficiary. Now, the, the usual idea of argue is, is, is that, you know, you're, it's the opposite. It's I'm, I'm right and you're wrong. I need to be the beneficiary and you need to be the trustee and tell me that I'm right. Very, very interesting. Dispute. Dispute. To express disagreement over, to express disagreement with someone, to question the truth or validity of, to doubt, to strive to gain or win, struggle over, to strive against, resist, to engage in discussion or debate. A verbal controversy, a debate, a disagreement or quarrel. Weigh, examine, discuss, argue, explain. Huh. To argue, contend with words. It's interesting because dispute is, is, if that's true, if it was, cont uh, the Latin word was used in Vulgate in sense of to argue, contend with words. It doesn't really match up with um, argue against, attempt to dispute, prove, deny. See, there's a big difference between arguing against someone, attempting to dispro disprove someone, creating denial with someone, rather than simply enlightening another person in your own position. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like, it's like if I'm clarifying and expanding upon what I'm trying to say or prove, that's a lot less combative than argue against, attempt to disprove and deny. And then also like if you're if you're uh attempting to uh to argue against and disprove and deny, uh how does that how does that line up with trust law? Like you're basically trying to be the beneficiary and you're trying to make them the trustee to crush them or something so that you can benefit from the fact that they've lost something like that. You're not, you're not trying to benefit them because how do they benefit from being denied or, or, or attempt to disproved or argued against? They don't, it just makes things worse. So I just, I just find this particular definition. Sometimes I come across some, some words in Black's Law. I mean, Frankly, at some point in my life, probably in the next couple of years, I'm probably going to read Black's Law 4th Edition cover to cover. Uh, it's just I wanted to have, you know, a, a year or two under my belt of just really interacting with the dictionary like all the time on a daily basis almost just to get kind of like the basic flavor for certain things and just to get like some kind of like basic footing before going in and doing that because there's just so much there that just I just didn't want to go in completely uh just quicksand you know it's just it's just a lot you don't even know where to start you just wind up lost so uh yeah yeah the legal definition of argue is to make clear it's uh you know if you just go around making things clear you're the trustee and the beneficiary.
and and how can you really get into problems or difficulties or anything i mean even when even when i am explaining all this stuff to somebody and they start you know freaking out or saying something or this and that i just oh well you know uh, uh, la, 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 like you know you you have to pay your taxes and uh, uh, uh. well actually did you know that uh title 26 section 7806 uh Subsection B, uh, in, in, in involving uh, the entire building of all of 20, Title 26, did you know that there's no enactment clause? Uh, you, you, can, you can be a real dick and kind of do something like that where you're just way, way over their head. Uh, or, or, or you can say something like, did you know that in Title 26, uh, Section 7806, Subsection B, uh, Construction of Title, did you know that uh, the that the entire Title Twenty Six, which is the the Internal Revenue Code, has never ever been enacted into law? Uh, and and it's like you're, you're saying it in a way where it's like I'm the trustee and he's the and he or she is the beneficiary. It's like, bro, did you realize that? you can be just as free as I am. Like that's the, that's the, uh, the intention behind the communication. It's like, did you know, uh, you know, you, you, you can be, you know, you can experience this awesome experience as well. Um, rather than it being combative because it's like, I don't like what, what is the point? Like here I am doing all this work and trying to study all the stuff just to be combative with someone who is like completely, utterly ignorant. They don't even know. You know, the other day I was talking to an accountant, a pretty, a pretty good accountant. Uh, and I was on the phone with him and we were talking about the, uh, the W A B E N form. And, uh, he's like, Oh no, a W A B E N that's for, uh, that's for people who live outside of the United States. And I said, no, it's not. Well, he, he said, America, like all of America, the 50 states. I said, no, it's not. I said, it's for anybody outside of United States. And I said, uh, I said, you know, I have, I have been studying the United States code and, uh, I found some really interesting definitions. And I said, would you like me to share them with you? <laughs> and he says, Oh no, I'm, I'm so busy. I could never, I could never look at those. It's just, I'm so busy. Oh, I'm just so busy. And this and that. And I said, you would be blown away by what I found in Title 26. And he said, I don't, you know, I don't even know what that is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and that shot, that really kind of shocked me and like threw me off. Like I was like, I was in the middle of the call and I was like, whoa, wait, what? <laughs> uh Title 26 is the Internal Revenue Code. You know, it's like, um, it's just amazing, man. It's just amazing. You know, you have you have people who who go to school for eight years and spend $270,000 or I don't know. I have no idea how much it costs to go to school like that. And they come out the other end and they don't know the definition of resident alien. They don't know the definition of U.S. citizen. They don't know the definition of a non-resident alien. They don't know the definition of Title 26. And here you are watching a series of videos by this borderline insane white guy that makes sexual jokes constantly like a child and and has a website called one stupid com. it's like this course and the representation of what i just explained to you is the exact representation of the entire world the entire world is completely upside down we live in an alice in wonderland we live in a world where up is down black is white fast is slow everything's upside down and completely backwards. And but the thing is is that the more backwards things get and the more upside down things get, the more people are going to start asking questions and waking up. You've heard that term a million times. It's like the the more 
this shit starts to happen and the worse it gets, the more people start asking questions and, and all the state national shit and all the shit that we're going over in this course, this shit has blown the fuck up during COVID like big time. I heard a report from fucking David Strait that, you know, in 2018, there was like 45,000 state nationals and now there's like 2 million plus and probably millions more in the making. So, you know, it's, do, do things have to get better before they get, do things have to get worse before they get better? If you think about it that way, it it's empowering because it's like you see things getting worse and worse and worse and you get you get you're so nervous and you're freaking out and you're losing your mind, but if you think about it that way, then to some degree it can be relieving because it's sort of like okay, well, maybe maybe they do, maybe they don't. But just the idea that maybe they do, maybe things do need to get worse before they're going to get better. I mean, people don't start looking for answers until the things that are occurring politically and all this really affect them personally and their own personal world. So, you know, the whole Joe Biden thing, I mean, it's kind of a blessing in disguise if you think about it, because it's getting all these people to question everything, you know, and, and just like I'm saying in my course, you start asking enough questions and you start asking enough questions about, you know, things, especially terms and words and phrases you start asking enough questions, you're, you're liable to find some answers. And uh, yeah, been a lot of answers that have been found recently. And that's why I started this whole course. And I just, I just, uh, point number, point number 16 really just, I mean, man, it just changed my whole life when I saw this definition. Um, it just completely changed my life, really. And, uh, so, so this one, I don't really think I have any other points that has just one word like this. Um, so, yeah, this is a very special word, um, very, very special definition, and I hope that uh, it's changed your life as much as it's changed mine. And uh, I'll see you at video number 17.